With iOS 16, Apple reimagined and rebuilt the lock screen from the ground up. From the very basics to creating a virtual dashboard for your life, we're going to walk you through three levels of iPhone lock screen mastery. Level one is for beginners. Maybe you're new to the iPhone or you're just getting started with iOS 16. Level two is for enthusiasts who want to dig a little deeper and go beyond the basics with some awesome new features. And level three is for you power users or you Android converts who miss the ability to customize the lock screen of your phone. Good news, now you can. Let's get started with level one. Here's what a beginner lock screen looks like. One of the biggest changes in iOS 16 is that you don't have to go into the settings app to change the wallpaper on your iPhone. You can press and hold on the lock screen to open the wallpaper switcher. This is where your wallpapers live. By default, you only have your original wallpaper without any customizations. Let's spruce it up to create a new lock screen. Tap the blue plus button in the lower right hand corner of the screen. This is where we add a new wallpaper and there are a lot of options. At the top, you'll see different types of wallpapers you can customize from scratch and below that, several suggestions from Apple. For level one, let's choose one of Apple's suggested wallpapers. Scroll down to the color section and let's choose the first blue one. This is where you can customize your wallpaper and it's divided into sections you can tap on to edit. Let's start with the three sections at the top. You can tap on the time to change its font and color. This also changes the color of the widget above the time. And this was unthinkable in previous versions of iOS. I think it's about time they built this in. Let's choose the second from the right on the bottom. You can also change the font color by tapping one of the circles at the bottom of the screen. We're going to leave it as the default color for now. Next, let's talk about widgets. Widgets show you current information from your favorite apps at a glance. Lock screen widgets are completely new to iOS 16 and they're extremely useful. Tap the X to close the font and color section and let's tap on the section below the clock to add a widget. You have four spaces for widgets on the lock screen and one bonus space that we'll get to in a minute. Below them, you'll see a list of all the different kinds of widgets you can install. Let's scroll down and tap weather. Here's where you can swipe back and forth through all the different weather widgets. Let's add a temperature widget by tapping on it. Then swipe right to left to get to precipitation and drag that in there so we can see if it's gonna rain. Tap the X in the upper right hand corner to go back. Scroll up and tap on calendar and let's add the double wide version of the calendar. And now let's talk about that bonus widget area. Tap the date at the top of the screen. You can add a mini widget in here. Let's choose alarms. Great. But we're not quite done designing our lock screen yet. Tap the X and at the bottom of this screen, you'll see a bunch of dots, which tell you that this wallpaper has options. Let's swipe through them and find vapor. Nice. Then tap add in the upper right hand corner of the screen. If you've been wondering how to change the home screen wallpaper on your iPhone, this is how you do it. And iOS 16 has some really cool things in there. We'll get to that at the end of level two. Let's move on to level two. You're an enthusiast who wants to dig deeper beyond just the basics. Let's start with a new wallpaper. And for this one, choose photos at the top. Let's pick a picture of a kitty. Apple demoed this depth effect at WWDC. It's what makes it look like part of the photo is in front of the clock and it creates a nice depth effect. But it's a little tricky to get it to work. First of all, depth effect won't work if there are widgets below the clock. Really the best way to figure out if a photo will work with depth effect is just to try it out. The key is to pinch to crop and then drag the photo around the screen until you see part of the bottom rectangle disappear. If it doesn't, pick another photo. You can tap the three dots in the lower right hand corner of the screen to turn off depth effect, but we don't know why you'd want to do that. It just looks so cool. Just like with the colors, you can swipe left and right to change the look of the wallpaper. That looks nice. Let's tap add in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Next, let's tap customize home screen. By default, an image wallpaper is set to blur on the home screen. If you want to see your image in all its glory, tap the blur button in the lower right hand corner of the screen. You also don't need to use the same image as your lock screen wallpaper. You can choose a color or a gradient, or you can choose an entirely different photo. When you're satisfied, tap done in the upper right hand corner of the screen. We want to see your lock screens. Tweet at pay it forward with hashtag lock screen to show us your lock screen. And hey, maybe we'll feature you in an upcoming video. Let's talk about focuses. This is where lock screens can become super powerful. You could have a lock screen for work, one for the gym, which would be great with that activity monitor widget. The other really cool thing is that the lock screens and your focuses are linked both ways. When you change the wallpaper on your lock screen, the focus changes. And when you change your focus in control center, the wallpaper changes. I love that Apple has made it much easier to change between focuses. Which means you can use Siri to change your wallpaper by saying, hey Siri, turn on do not disturb. To link a focus with a wallpaper, open the wallpaper switcher and tap the focus button. 
then choose the focus you want to link. Before we get into level three, we just want to say there are a lot of cool new features coming to the iPhone and to keep up to date with those, make sure you're subscribed to this channel. Just click the button right below the video. Level three is for you advanced users who want to get the most out of your lock screen and create a virtual dashboard for your life. We're going to bring in some third party devices for this section and talk about some underappreciated settings. Let's tap the plus button in the lower right hand corner of the screen and choose this cool astronomy wallpaper. Let's add a widget. We'll start by adding a home widget because I want to know what the temperature is inside my house. Climate sensor, we'll tap on that to add it. I'd also like to know what the humidity is inside my house. Well, let's choose another climate sensor and then tap on that climate sensor widget air quality and humidity. You want a humidity? Humidity. You got it. Next, we work with people all over the world and time zones are so overwhelming. Fortunately, there's a widget for that. Yep, let's tap the X in the upper right hand corner of the screen. Tap on clock. Scroll until you see world clock. Tap on that. And then you can come in here and tap on that world clock widget and select the three cities you want. These aren't the only widgets with these hidden features. The best way to find out is to add a widget and tap on it. Let's close out of the world clock, close out of the widgets, close out of the widgets and tap add this lock screen. This next tip is for you power users who want to be able to take notes from the lock screen. First, let's add notes to control center. Open up the settings app, scroll down, tap control center, scroll down, and add notes. And let's just drag that to the top of the list. Next, let's go back to the main page of settings, scroll down and tap on notes, then scroll all the way down and tap access notes from lock screen. Here's where you can choose to create a new note or resume last note. When off is selected, you'll have to unlock your phone before taking a note. Now you can hand your phone to someone else to take a quick note and they won't be able to see any of your other notes. Yep, so if we swipe down upper right hand corner of the screen to open control center, tap the add note button. There we go, if they try to tap all notes, locked out. Let's talk about some lock screen pro tips. The first is a new interface for timers. If you set a timer, you get this cool widget at the bottom of your lock screen instead of that tiny timer we used to get underneath the time. There are also some changes to the music interface. You can tap on the album cover to make it larger. There's a neat little waveform on the player too. How do we delete a wallpaper, David? In your wallpaper switcher to swipe up on a wallpaper, and press that trash can button, gone. Can I convert my pride wallpaper into another kind of wallpaper, like a photo or astronomy? Nope. Nope, just gotta create a new one from scratch. Now that you are a lock screen expert, make sure to check out our new iOS 16 settings you need to turn off video. It's appearing on the screen right now. Check it out. This is where your wallpapers live. <laughs> just press and hold for the- Air quality. Air quality. It's poor, it's very poor in here. <laughs> We're full of hot air.